The Evo Wizard, the only evolution that didn't get nerfed in the recent update, so I like to show its potential right now. This one cycle card is protected by a fire shield with an explosion damage of 336. This is enough to kill light troops like bats, skeletons, goblins and minions, which can be a powerful defense against swarms. But it isn't enough to kill the dart goblin, princess or firecracker. They will suffer some damage and a knockback, cause another feature is the ability to knock back troops that are vulnerable to it. If those troops are within a 3 tile range, they will endure a 3 tile knockback. Because of this feature, the Evolved Wizard is a perfect card against the Lumberloon attack. The combo gets countered and you still have a full health wizard. This knockback feature is applicable against many other light and medium troops, so here's a quick selection. The explosion will knock back all barbarians, all dragons, all witches, all archers, and all royal cards, except for the royal giant. But always be careful with the placement. You don't want to blast your opponents to the wrong position where it can damage your tower. So try not to have your enemy in between the tower and your wizard, but try to aim the blast in other directions. The shield can take a damage of 540, so the arrows, tornado, freeze, lock, earthquake, rage, sap, bar barrel and giant snowball won't be enough to clear it. That can only be done by the rocket, poison, fireball, single targeting void and lightning. And the lightning will only target its first strike. The second or third strike won't hit the wizard like it is with the phoenix. So make use of all this knowledge if you face opponents with spell supported attacks or if they try to predict your building. You can also use them against a lot of combos and well known attacks. Like this bridge spam attack with the bandit and the battle ram. Or attacks with the royal recruits. And I don't know about you all, but I've been coming across these kind of attacks a lot lately. And as you can see, the Dagger Duchess is still overpowered and in my opinion the best tower troop to support you. You can be very creative with the utilization of the Evolved Wizard. Most of the times, just placing it in the middle of every attack will do the trick. But it can help to figure out how the blast will benefit you. Making use of the other tower's daggers is a great example of exploiting the knockback. The Evolved Wizard will also work against the speedy attack with the Valkyrie and the Hawk Rider. And always make use of it against the attack that is supported by Evolved Bats or Evolved Skeletons. Cause they get instantly killed by the Blast as well. Clearly you can use him against a lot of single attacks. So here are a couple of sped up versions. Cause otherwise I can't call this a quick guide anymore. The Archer Queen, the Elite Barbarians, the Three Musketeers and the Sparky can be countered with ease. With this positioning both towers will help to counter the Mega Knight. The rascals can be countered in different ways, just be sure the blast doesn't make him connect to the tower. Placing the wizard behind the tank like a giant is a very powerful combination. Defending against the giant with swarms is a bad idea because of the splash damage of the wizard and because of the fire shield they can't use swarms or other light or medium troops against the wizard either. And if you add a tornado to your deck, you'll make it even harder for the opponent. Cause now they can't defend it with distant shooters, cause the tornado can pull them into reach. And if the pull of the tornado shifts the focus of the shooters to the wizard and attack him, they will suffer the explosion damage of the shield. And last but not least, the shield can function as a first barrier against a lot of dashes. That's it, I hope the information was useful and that it can help you decide which evolution you like to pick next. It's up to you, but whatever you do, please return to my videos in the future. See you then and thank you for watching.